where in the middle between the four the pillars and where exactly is where Jesus Christ baptized which four pillars it's between the four the pillars here Today I embark on a journey through history and faith as I visit the sacred baptism site in the Jordan River just outside Amman, Jordan. And we're here, here we are going to the church. It's not a church. Like plus. Yeah. <laughs> In this video, I am showing one of the most sacred places in Christianity, the baptism site on the Jordan River, where Jesus Christ was baptized. I cannot express how excited and humble I felt standing at this holy site, knowing its significance to millions of people around the world. The serenity of the place combined with the deep spiritual connection made this visit an unforgettable experience. Being there surrounded by history and faith was a moment of profound reflection and joy. The baptism site, known as Bethany beyond the Jordan or al maghtaz is a site of immune historical and religious importance. Nestled in the Jordan Valley, north of the Dead Sea, this site is rich in history, featuring two distinct archaeological areas. Tal al Karar, also known as Jabal Mar Elias, and the area of the Church of St. John the Baptist. al Mahtaz is recognized as a UNESCO World Heritage Site located on the east bank of the Jordan River. It is widely revered as the place where Jesus was baptized by John the Baptist, a traditional that has been honored since at least the Byzantine Here we are going to the Baptist site in Jordan River. So Okay, everybody, now we just uh, stay here just a few minutes, please. We need to take a picture to see the Jordan River. This is the Jordan River here. 
And over the mountain, this is Jerusalem. And Jerusalem in the Jordan River, actually just about 25 kilometers in Jerusalem in the Jordan River. And this way here was the Jericho. Jericho in the borders, about two and three kilometers. It's very close to the border with Jericho and the Jordan River. Mm. This is the two churches here with the from Catholic churches. Behind the church, the from Russian Orthodox Church. This is a new one, the church is the name of the church, John Baptist Church, this is the Orthodox. A new one for 16 years ago, we start in 2003. Now, just on the one minute, you can take picture to see the Jordan River. After this, this we walk this way. River? Yeah, this is this. Jordan, yeah. Yes. yeah. Is this in Jerusalem? No, it's over the Mount Jerusalem, it's still in Jordan. Oh, this is still in Jordan. Now, just on the one minute, you can take picture to see the... The site's name, al Martas, meaning baptism, or immersion encompasses two key areas. The remains of a monastery on Jabal Mar Elias, Elia Hill, and a zone close to the river, where you can find the remnants of ancient churches, baptismal pools, and heroic dwellings. These two areas are linked by the stream known as Wadi Karar. وهذا علاوي ابن عمي معانا بالرحلة إلى موقع المغطس على نهر الأردن هاي جسر Okay, everybody, please. We now just a uh, few minutes we stop here and we will take pictures to see the important signs, the important place. I waited exactly for a few minutes to find the signs between the four the pillars. Where? In the middle, between the four the pillars. And where exactly is where Jesus Christ baptized? Which four pillars? It's between the four the pillars here. In the middle, between the four the pillars, and this is actually before the Jordan River. That is in the water before the high the water here. And we now no water down here now. Why? Because the destroyed by earthquake and the floods in the Jordan River before you a long time here before you seven century. And this is the water in the down here now. This is the ground, spring, nature. Only in the winter. In the summer we dry. Why? It's very, very hot in the summer with the action with the temperatures 50 degrees. Why? It's below 400 meters in level the Dead Sea here. Which pillar that this you were one. talking this about the, that he one. was baptized? Yes, here, spot here. Here, this one? Yes. And the, under the shelters ah. here, you have the remains old church, all the Byzantine and the church, all 5, 6, 8, 12th century AD. The All the churches here with the names of the church, John Baptist Church, 491 AD. 491 AD, this is all the churches here. And this is a name with the town here, this is Bethany. This is Bethany. Bethany beyond the Jordan, where John was baptizing. This is the name of the town, this is Bethany. And under the shelters, you have the remains old church, or the Byzantine church, all five centuries. Why no water down here? Why? Change with the floods, earthquakes, before you a long time here, before you settle in here. Yeah. I heard that because uh, the river was deviated. What? Is it true that it came Ah, I need much more.
عمر المكان اللي تعمد فيها
Sevilla sí que se ha preocupado con las cosas. In 2015, UNESCO officially recognized the site, highlighting its importance on the east bank of the Jordan River. By 2016, the site had welcomed around 81,000 visitors from Europe, America, and the Arab world. With thousands gathering here every January 6 to celebrate Epiphany. يلا مصور اخلف في فيديو عمي عم سجلها في فيديو يلا راح حتى تناش تلخ هذا يلا سقيت الكرسي تعمل جوايب ما سجلت الكلمة اللي قلتها لا يا زلمه والله اهلا وسهلا فيك يا اهلا وسهلا فيك تشرفنا فيك الله يخليك اهلا وسهلا فيك الله يخليك يلا ثانكس فور فيزيت جوردن افتح الباص While my time in Jordan was filled with amazing experiences, there were a few incredible places I unfortunately didn't get to visit. Petra, the ancient city carved into rose red cliffs, is one of the new seven wonders of the world and is known for its breathtaking architecture and rich history. I feel a bit of regret not being able to walk through the Felimasik and stand before the iconic treasury. Another site I missed is Wadi Ram, also known as the Valley of the Moon. It's a vast desert landscape that's a must visit for its surreal, otherworldly scenery and its significance in both history and film. And finally, the Dead Sea the lowest point on earth, knowing for its theropietic waters and mineral-rich mud, would have been an incredible place to relax and take in the unique environment. 
Though I couldn't visit these remarkable sites, they remain on my travel bucket list, and I hope to return to Jordan someday to explore them. Jordan has been an incredible stop on my journey, filled with history, spirituality, and unexpected discoveries. But the adventure doesn't end here. My next destination is Rome, where I will be diving into even more ancient history and exploring the wonders of this timeless city. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumb up, share it with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more adventures. Make sure to hit the notification bell so you will be the first to know when I arrive in Rome. Until then, keep exploring and stay curious. See you in Italy. Roma.